So what we've learned from our clinical trial is to eat lots of antioxidant foods, which is whole plant foods or antioxidant. Berries, fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, and seeds. We may need to supplement with vitamin C, real vitamin E, folate, vitamin B12, and the four minerals, selenium, copper, zinc, and manganese. We need to avoid animal fat to improve brain blood flow. Perfusion of blood to the brain is all important, and it just doesn't work as well with arterial clogging. CoQ10 and SAMe are both made in the body, and it's possible that you may want to supplement those if you're experiencing problems. Remember, SAMe shouldn't be taken with antipsychotic medication. Ginkgo biloba improves blood flow. That's one of the ways it works, is to get the blood into the tiny arterioles and capillaries inside your brain. And it's not just used for old age Alzheimer's. It's the most used drug in Europe for memory. So students take it during exams, for instance. And Gotacola keeps memory young. So this is the book, uh, my wife's book, Dementia Prevention Cookbook. Uh, if we only have the nutrients for memory out on the table there, uh, if we run out or you want the Dementia Prevention Cookbook or the Brain and Body Food, you can talk to my wife, Catherine. She's standing here against the wall. She'll be out by the book table, and she can help you to order those. Well, we have actually completed the presentation, and we'll be ready for questions in just a minute. Thank you for being so patient. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you've been a great audience. No one fell asleep. I appreciate that. Um, OK, if you have a question, please say it quite loudly. Young lady back here. Didn't quite hear that. Can someone relay that? Vitamin E or D? E? How much vitamin E? OK, excellent question. Oh, good, you're going to pass the mic, good. OK, so how much vitamin E? The upper limit is, um, I think it's 1,000. Yeah, it's 1,000 milligrams, but I wouldn't recommend that much. Uh, with vitamin E, I generally recommend, as do most people, about 400 milligrams per day, uh, possibly 200. If you have any bleeding issues or you're on anticoagulant medication, you may want to start lower and work your way up. But for most people, 200 to 400 milligrams is a standard vitamin E dose. But you're not going to find real vitamin E. So that's a problem. So in that case, you might just want to powder up some walnuts and sunflower seeds and get the real stuff, unless you can find the real deal. Thank you. Organic blueberries uh, is frozen. Is that OK? Organic blueberries that are frozen, is that OK? Or you have to get the? You know, the fresh in the store. So so well, yes. Um, we prefer, of course, the organic fresh blueberries, but they're not always available. So we eat the organic frozen blueberries. What happens with frozen blueberries is they're very quickly dipped in boiling water and then flash frozen. That's to kill any bacteria. So the inside's still raw. And uh, we generally warm them up a little bit. Um, just to bring out the flavor or soak them a little bit to bring out the flavor and get them up to at least room temperature. So I do think that the frozen blueberries are good. Studies on them are showing that they still possess the anthocyanins and many of the other phytonutrients that are so valuable. Thank you. Okay, he does have a microphone to help with the questions. Please wait for microphones. There's a live web stream. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's do it by the mic. Just speak loudly into the mic. If I am freezing the blueberries myself, I buy them in bulk and then put them in my freezer. Is that preserving it and because they're not being dipped in the boiling water? The reason they put them in boiling water is to kill any possible bacteria before they freeze them. So it depends if there's possible contamination, then you might want to do that. But it's kind of an industrial process. And uh, I don't know if you can buy the blueberries. If you're eating a cup a day, they're going to go pretty quick. There's more than one person. They'll go even quicker. Well, I don't shop that often. So I buy a whole lot and put them in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly a blueberry expert. Yes. I'm more a blueberry consumer. Wash them <laughs> Absolutely. Everything that I buy gets washed before it gets into my refrigerator. Thank you. Could you pass to this gentleman, please? 
Recently, there's been uh, a lot of talk about vitamins. Uh, a lot of doctors are saying that, uh, you know, the doctors, I mean, the vitamins that we buy are no good. They're, they're of none effect and all. Uh, yes. Is there any truth to that? I, I, so he's saying doctors are saying that the vitamins you buy are not effective. <sighs> doctors and pharmacists agree that vitamins are not effective. People who work in health food stores say vitamins are very effective. They're both wrong. <laughs> no, they're both right. Uh, because the problem is that the vitamins are made for one reason, profit. And because they're made for profit, they put the cheapest, most least effective ingredients in the tiniest amounts in those bottles. And I can't mention any brand names here that are very popular with older folks, but you know, $7 a bottle, you know you're not getting much in there. And, and the, the fake vitamin E, again, is actually slightly harmful. Studies have shown maybe a 4% increased mortality rather than decrease from the synthetic stuff because all those fake vitamin E's are getting implanted into brain cells, but they don't work instead of the real vitamin E. So they're crowding out the real stuff. So I agree that it's extremely difficult. I had to make my own brain and body food, which is up there, in order to find something that I would take because I, as a person who studies and has written a textbook on this, I can go down a line of multivitamins in a health food store or a grocery store, and it's only because I'm very polite that I don't throw them all on the floor. <laughs> so those doctors are right, I think, by and large. Yeah, yeah thanks. Great question. Oh, hi. Uh, could you give her a mic, please? Do you have an online store Use the mic. that we can purchase? Use the mic. These okay, she's asking about an online store. Well, a store might be putting it boldly, but drsteveblake.com. If you go there, you can get, for instance, all of my books in, uh, probably better to get them in ebook format because we'll be traveling for another few weeks. Um, but you can also order books and vitamins there. And uh, yeah, so it's not exactly a store because I'm not exactly a merchant. <laughs> okay, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, okay, please uh, wait for the microphone. I did hear that There's question a live about vitamin going on, and also people won't be able to hear you. I, I did hear about vitamin D3. Uh, vitamin D3 is cholecalciferol, and it's preferred over vitamin D2 ergocalciferol. Uh, of course, that's what I use in brain and body food. Um, it's much better absorbed, much more effective, and after all, vitamin D2 is made from irradiated fungus. It just doesn't really seem to work so well for me. Uh, all of the studies are showing that vitamin D3 is better and more effective. The only advantage vitamin D2 has is if you overdose, it's so ineffective it doesn't hurt you as much. But that's not really something to recommend. Okay, we have a question here. There's something on the radio, his name is Dr. Lederman, and he has some kind of a, um, vitamins in a capsule. Did you ever hear of it, and is it, in, is it legitimate? What about Dr. Lieberman? There's a radio station, 710 AM, and there's a Dr. Lederman that said that he has made a vitamin, that a nutrient that's just all vitamins, and that it's really great. Have you ever heard of it? And is it legitimate? Dr. Lederman. Sure, Kat, did you catch that? Okay, so someone named Dr. Lieberman has, says he has the whole balance of nature. I do want to say that when I go in the health food store, I see these bottles of multivitamins, they're boxes now, and they say live enzymes all over them. And so, of course, I turn them over and read the back, and I see that oftentimes like the calcium is 45 milligrams. We need 800 to 1,200 milligrams a day, and they're giving you 45. So I put it right back on the shelf politely, don't throw it on the floor. Uh, if it has 45 milligrams, when we certainly need hundreds, not tens, of milligrams of calcium. So even though, I, of course, everyone who sells vitamins say they're good. So it's, it's very hard to do it. Uh, the, actually, my textbook on vitamins and minerals is under $20 on Amazon. Uh, you could look up Steve Blake and vitamins and minerals. you probably find it. And uh, so you could read about in each chapter 
the vitamin C, I've got 30 pages, and some of it includes the supplementary forms, and which forms are best. And it's a deep study, believe me, I love this stuff. It's really good. Okay, we have time for a couple more questions. We're just about done. Hello? Yes, I have a question over here. I'm here. Hello? <laughs> I have a question about coconut oil. There's a lot of studies that say that co consumption of coconut oil actually um, helps with respect to uh, delaying Alzheimer's. And I know you had put it on the list as far as oh, one okay, to Okay, sure. I, I know what you mean. This is have to be the last question because dinner is coming soon. That's very important. Uh, <laughs> The uh, a preemie doctor did have a husband with trouble drawing a clock, and she did give him coconut oil, and he could draw a clock. And I'll tell you, I work with a neuropsychologist who I just got a report of nine hours it took him to evaluate a patient thoroughly for dementia. It was more than just drawing a clock. So her husband did not have a diagnosis of dementia and, or Alzheimer's disease. And actually, because coconut oil increases vascular dementia, we want to make sure not to harm people. So I would very much not want people to have coconut oil if they're having trouble with their memory because I don't want people to be harmed. And I think that'll have to conclude our talk because I'm getting the signal from over here. Thank you very much. Thank you.